Today, I want to talk to you about conviction, culture, and constructs. Now, this may not sound exciting, but these components are foundational for you building a leadership pipeline in your church. The reason churches have a leadership deficiency today is that they never built a leadership development culture and constructs to back those up yesterday. So let's take a look. Odds are likely that you hold a clear conviction in your church for developing your people. That is the red hot conviction that is exhibited right here. The majority of pastors, when we surveyed a thousand of them said, you know what? Training is important to development and training is important to our church. Yet that same study revealed that only 27% of those churches had a plan in place to develop their people. And only one in four of those required leaders to attend training. Now, remember Ephesians 4 that God calls us to, as church leaders, equip the saints for the work of the ministry. We're not called to be doers only. We're, we're called to be developers in training and equipping those under our leadership. You must lead with this clear conviction for establishing a pipeline of leaders. As you lead with this conviction, it will quickly spread to the next layer, and that is the church's culture. Culture is simply the, the shared values and beliefs of your people. Recall the Great Commission when God calls us as believers to make disciples who make disciples who make disciples. Look at the life now of Jesus and you see men were his method. And as you lead out in equipping others, you will equip your people to do the same. Culture is formed by people, not by a program and not by paper. Once you hold a clear conviction that development is at the core of your church, what it is and what it does and what it lives to do, then you establish a healthy culture. Then you move into constructs. Now, constructs are the strategy, system, structure, skill, even training style that you use to build and align your leadership pipeline. Doing this provides a framework to uphold the conviction and culture of leadership development in your people. Otherwise, the burden, the weight of all that leadership development rests on the shoulders of the leader. A pipeline allows a structure and a framework to spread that out. If you have constructs but no conviction, you are gonna have apathy and so are your people. If you have constructs but no culture, you're likely exhausted and so are your people. If you have developed a burning red conviction but you have no constructs, all you're doing is getting your people really excited about serving and then not giving them clear pathways to do so. And it's a merry-go-round of frustration. So now that you understand conviction, culture, and constructs, what are you gonna do about it?